Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. My name's John Scott. How are you all? I know it's nice, this, isn't it? I quite like this. I to, you haven't seen the bottom half. It's brilliant. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Yarn Lane is a uh, show dedicated completely to everything to do with yarn, really. Knitting and crochet and macrame. And um, I did tatting last week. And what else have we done? Toy making. You know what, sorry? Oh, needle punch. I love needle punch. So I just had a strawberry. And I feel like there's a piece of strawberry in my mouth. Um, oh, hang on. Kat says we are... Kat's my producer, by the way. We are the only channel in the UK dedicated to knitting and yarn and crochet. Right. Now, you'll want to know more about us. So, obviously, you're watching us. So, we, we are on YouTube, on our website, and on Facebook Live. I've got the Facebook Live here. Oh, I've actually got a message already that says, just ordered my first thing. Can't, oh, Carol. Carol's saying she's bought the sparklers. Different show, Carol. Different show. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. Um, what was I going to say? So go to the website. Go to the website because you can see what we've got on offer on the website. So www.yarnlane.com. That's right. Oh, right. Click on watch the show live. Then you'll see a screen with me in it there. Now, everything is on pre-order. Everything over the next hour is all on pre-order there. So you can buy it now straight away if you want to. As soon as we introduce it to you, it then goes into a different column, which says show today's show deals or something like that. Um, so now it's a different phone number to, to Sewing Street. It's 0800 4 700 600 is the number you need to do. So you can either ring them. Or you can go into the uh, buy on the web. It's the same account, right? If you sign in, it's exactly the same account. And if you've already bought from Sewing Street this morning, uh, you only pay one PP because it came from, comes from the same warehouse. So let's get going because we've only got an hour and we've got lots and lots and lots to get through. Right, we've, right. It's normally at the beginning of the show, I would show you everything we've got for the hour. I can't do that today because there's way too much. So what we're going to do is do one at a time. So the first one is this, right? So it's it's this little crop jacket on the mannequin I've got behind me here. We'll show you pictures of it because Elliot's got pictures of them all. Or what there's one over near Catherine. It's this one. It's called Super Chunky. Uh, what's, the, what's the actual title of it? Sorry, it's called, uh, it's not got it written on the pattern. Ladies Cropped Jacket, it's called. Ladies Cropped Jacket. So you get the pattern. You also get, now there's two colourways. I've got, oh no, what number is that? What are they called? No, they've got, I've got shade 1305 and shade, sorry about this everybody. We, oh yeah, sorry, 5552, 552. So this one here is the Tundra one. This one here is Tundra, which is the one behind um, Catherine, which you'll see in a second. So what you get here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balls of 100% acrylic, super chunky yarn. Um, you can wash it at 30 degrees. It's mariner yarn. And it's rather beautiful because it's kind of, not only is it spotty, but it's also variegated. I don't know if they call that spot. It's like every now and then the spots are different colours. It's beautiful, isn't it? How much is that then? Twenty nine ninety nine. Right, you need needles. Size nine millimetre and ten millimetre needles. Right, we have got we have got all the needles that needed for this hour on the website today. Now hang on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nine millimetre and ten millimetre needles is what you need for that. Okay, so that's what was that one called? Tundra, that one was called Tundra. This one is called, oh, that's weird. You'd think it'd be the other way around. This one is 508. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. We do apologise. I was going to say that's, anyway. So the first one we showed you, so those of you who've bought it, you'll just need to swap it over in your basket. So this was the first one. That's right, that's right. We, it was a bit of a rush to get here, right? Okay, so this is Savannah, right? So this will make, again, it is the one over by Catherine, which you'll see in a minute. This is Savannah. Beautiful colours, right? And then this one here is Tundra, which is more of a blue, which is the one behind me. There you go. 
Oh no, it's got lovely warm tones in it, but it's got more of a grey blue undertone. It's still got it's got aqua in it, it's got yellow in it, it's got green in it. And that makes this one behind me here, which was made for us by Karen Hatton. Karen, there you go, there it is. Karen Hatton made the Now, wouldn't you think, isn't it strange how it works out in stripes in the different colours? And yet it looks quite random in the wool, doesn't it? Look, there's the wool. Brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, so that one there is Tundra, right? Two colourways, Savannah and Tundra. So the, let's go over to Catherine. <laughs> what are you going to show us on this one? And who made yours? This one is by Marilyn Dixon. Marilyn Dixon, it's like an award ceremony, <laughs> isn't it? Marilyn Dixon, come on down. She knitted that one for us. What are you going to show I'm us I'm going to one? show you how to pick up and knit round your neck. So you knit all your pieces and then you pick up stitches to put when you put it together to, to knit your neck. And right, people okay. often ask about this. Okay. So I decided that that's what I'd show you. Now ignore the fact that mine's a completely different colour to anything yes, we've got here. Yes, of course. Okay, it's it's what, we'd, what we've got. So, this is your right front. Imagine these are longer. Yep. Didn't have time to do the whole of thing. This not. is your left front. This is your back, but we've got this neck. Okay, as a non-knitter, can I ask then, have you sewn, you see that, um, I don't know if it's called ribbing or the panel this down the part, front. Is that sewn as part? Oh, can so I what you do is you actually, when you cast on, you do this part like as, a, as it, it's moss stitch actually, okay, as a okay. rib. Yeah. When you get to here, you put your seven stitches on a stitch holder right. and you knit up the rest of the side. Right. Then you go back and you come back to this and then you knit this bit up and I've actually just stitched that in place. Right. Oh, okay. so it doesn't, it doesn't get knitted. It doesn't get knitted, <laughs> excuse me, oh, at right. the same time. Because on Cause crochet, done... you could get your hook, couldn't you, and knit it together. So that's yes. actually stitched no, together. No, it's knitted separately and stitched on okay. at the end. Right. But you don't actually cast it off. You see, I've no. got them back on the, yeah. the needle a holder up here. Um, it's because you do this bit on slightly smaller needles than you do that bit. Right, okay. So you can see the value of your stitch markers. So we've joined the shoulder seams together. Yeah. And then with our right side facing, we're going to moss stitch across these seven stitches. Uh, now moss stitch is a knit one per one. Right. Stitch. I actually think I knew that. You can't I'm sure you did because I'm busy doing my table. But I um I suspect you're picking up quite a lot. It's frightening <laughs> how much I'm picking up. Especially in the crochet. I seem to have been given more crochet yarn lane shows to do than anything. And because I do the, a lot of the kit roundups, I have to learn it all because I haven't got an expert there showing me how to do it. So um, anyway, so what are you right, doing now? So I am knitting one and purling one off my stitch holders, getting them onto my knitting needles. Oh, okay, so you don't just take it off a stitch holder and put it on your needle. You, you sew I'm, I'm, as you're going I'm along. I'm going to knit it as I go along, yes. Just because, um, well, I would if they weren't in the right direction. I'd have to, but right. they are in the right direction. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> so I can. So we've got them on. Then we are going to pick up and knit 20 stitches up the right side of the neck. Right. Okay. So what people find tricky is fitting that many in. So what you need to do is look at your piece of knitting and sort of mentally divide it up. So if you find halfway, you know you've got to do 10 by there, yeah. you've got to do five by there, and then you'll get them nice and evenly spaced out. So in fact, it would, you know, if you pop it, pop your stitch marker in, it'll give you a little guide to yeah. see where you're going to. And you're literally going to push your needle through and knit your stitch or purl it, which was I on, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. Oh, I should have put. Well, you've got, to, you've got to to pick up. You've got to knit them, really. It does say pick up and knit. That's fine. Oh. Susan's rushed back from food shopping, now having a coffee and watching the show. Laurie says, love your vest, John. All the wools and patterns look great. It's more than a vest, Laurie. You wait. You <laughs> it's wait, It's fabulous. Laurie. We all like that, that yeah, one. Yeah, we love this one. Although I have to say, I'm, feel I'm feeling so snuggly in this one. This is lovely. It's this really nice. That is lovely, the one you're doing. Yeah. We're going to cover all of these. All the things you're seeing on me, on the mannequins, on Catherine, you are going to see them all this hour. 
So I've done it in a contrast just because I thought it would be good to show up and, and see what you're doing. So it doesn't matter if they're not all in a stitch as long as they are evenly along. So I've got 10 to there. And then I'm going to do another 10 to take me up to that shoulder. Uh -huh. And we've got to get 27 across the back and 20 back round oh, to here. Okay. So it's quite a, I mean, if you look at it, it is quite a big neckline, isn't it? I love it. I love that yeah. moss stitch going round the neck and down the front and then round the hem and everything. This is a nice pattern because it's chunky. It grows really fast. So I actually knitted up that side, that one side in an evening in a couple oh, of hours because yeah. it grows so quickly. So if you're thinking, not knitted a garment before, but I'd like a go, this is a good one because it won't take you years. Yeah. Also, don't be thinking, where's the navy blue version? That The yarns that um, Catherine was saying aren't the ones that are, we are doing today. We're doing Tundra and Savannah today. Yes, I don't think they'd come in. And because I, I've got lots of bits of Mariner yarn from doing all the different shows, yeah. so we're... Uh, conserving it and using it up. They're beautiful yarns, aren't they, Mariners, though? They're really, really lovely. These are 100% acrylic. It's funny, isn't it? Because when I first started in the industry, acrylic, you'd avoid acrylic, like, you know, it was just always thought of as, ugh. And yet these are just exquisite, aren't they? they uh, it's, it's really changed, mm. I think, oh, over no. well, the it's years. Like polyester yeah. thread, isn't it? Yeah. We would never use polyester thread when I first started. And now technology and everything, it's just come on leaps and bounds. Well, and it washes so well and everything like that as well, yeah. doesn't it? I'm notoriously good at, at shrinking jumpers. Oh, are you? I am, yes. Someone's just asked about the sizes. Let me have a look for you. It go, oh, bus sizes, it goes from a 32 to a 42. 32 to 42 uh, bus size. Well, it is open. It is open, but, but it's kind of... Um, have they got it? Well, can you? Because that? that tie looks like it's on her blouse. No, it hasn't got a fast. It hasn't got no. a fastening. Thank you, Kat. You could put one on if you wanted, couldn't you? No, it doesn't mean you could. I mean, you could put a tie on if you want to, but there's not but, one but on the pattern. But there isn't one on the pattern, no. No. I think I, what I like about it is it's nice spring knit because it's not. It's got shorter sleeves. Yeah, well, I quite I like. like I love a three-quarter sleeve. Yeah, I, well, it's I the most flattering the sleeve, isn't it? Yeah. But it's just something like you're thrown on. It's like, oh, I'll throw this on. But actually, you're very, very sophisticated throwing it on. You know what I mean? It's a lovely, lovely knit. Nice bit of colour, cat saying, if you go for Savannah or Tundra. So you carry on picking your stitches up all the way around. Yeah. And then when you've done that, you just keep working in moss stitch for seven rows. And then you cast it off. And that creates the neckline. And that creates your neckline. How brilliant. So people, people often have, have asked, um, when they've messaged in, they've asked about picking up. Yeah. But it's, it's not difficult. Don't be afraid of it. You, okay, I've got to ask a question. You might not be able to... Oh, oh no. No, ignore me. Ignore me. <laughs> well, no, I was going about to say, isn't it clever that you just knit these things up and the stripes match? Because on the Savannah <laughs> one over there... The orange stripe goes across the bust and across the sleeve exactly the same place as in the burgundy one then goes across the body and across the sleeve at the same place. But then this one doesn't. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's just a different It'll way depend which, which bit of the ball it's, yeah, it's exactly, got to, exactly. but I think it's really Thought nice. It magic variegated. wool then for some reason. Okay. Now, I've completely lost count. Okay. Well, we can move on to the next one if <laughs> so you So, like. if you want to move on, you can. Okay, but it then let shows me just do how, a, how you pick it up. I'll do a summing up then. So, I've only got one ball here. This was Savannah. You obviously get all the balls. Was it nine balls of wool and the pattern for $29.99? And that makes, oh no, not this one, the one that was over there. We also have it in Tundra, which is the one behind me which is the more bluey tones. Actually, do you know what? When the ball's in the wool like, no, when the yarn is in a ball like that, it looks like it's very heavily blue. But actually, seeing it knitted up, blue isn't the dominant colour at all, is it? 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, they love it. They're both beautiful, warm colours, lovely to wear, lovely to wear. Fewer of the, Tundra's most, in, um, not the most important, I was going to say, most popular, and there's less than 20 of those already. Right, now we're moving on to your cardigan, the one you're wearing. So this is it in grey. I don't know why I checked, swapped the patterns over. It's exactly the same pattern. So you get the mariner pattern. It's called, what do we call this? Ladies long line cardigan. I wonder why they don't write it on their patterns, what it is. Anyway, this is ladies long line, and this is the one you're wearing, isn't it? Yes. Right, so this is the grey version. So this one is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balls. Now, what colour what color would you call that? I hate it when they just give it a shade colour. Silver grey, silver grey we're calling that one. It's double knit with wool. It's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. You'd say what? A brushed aluminium, would you? Thank you. <laughs> so that's your pale grey one there to make that one. And how much is that one? $29.99. You need to get three buttons. Three yes, buttons. Yes, this one hasn't got... Has oh, now who knitted one. yours? Uh, Margaret Chapman knitted this one. Margaret well. Chapman knitted that one and for it, us. And it's lovely. It's, it's beautiful. Lovely. I have to say, if I was to look at the pattern, I wouldn't necessarily be impressed, but I actually love the knit of this I love I don't know what it's called but it's I love I, well I will ask when we, we start when we start knitting it right then I've also got it in a blue storm blue grey storm blue grey now this one is a hundred this is all acrylic this one hasn't got any wool in it this one's double knit acrylic oh look at the price is that right? Oh, blimey, that's good. Dawn's just crocheted a blanket in Mariner Double Knit Yarn and I'm really impressed with such good value brand. Well, that's, that's what I was just saying, wasn't it, Dawn? That's beautiful. Right, OK, let's move on with that one then. You get nine, but they're 100% acrylic, but then it's £10 more affordable, isn't it? I haven't got a blue, nobody, Elliot's not got the blue sample on, we haven't got the blue sample here. So, what are you going to show on this one? Right, so I'm going to show how to just do, how to do this little pattern, because it looks like a cable, but it's yes. a sort of a faux kind of cable, it's oh, okay. a little bit different. I'd not done anything like this before, but I think it's so effective. Oh, I think it's lovely. Really, really nice, isn't it? I tell you, it's so warm and snuggly, I don't want to take this one off. <laughs> I like this, I love a cardi. And it's got pockets in. Oh! It's got pockets. Are they, do you knit those integrally? So, yes, they, you knit, um, you knit the pocket lining and so the front of the pocket goes up as part of the, the front piece yeah. and you knit the lining and then it all gets oh, wow. knitted together. So it's very clever. It is lovely. So you're going to, it's all based on, on a basic rib, which is a knit three, uh, knit three, purl three rib. And then when you start to do the pattern, yep. you carry on with your rib, depending on your size. I seem to remember, was it this one? It had a really big range of sizes, one of them did. Oh, what, the size, what, you mean the size of the finished yeah, garment? Yeah, I can't remember, it might have been a different one. No, this one's the same as the last oh, one, okay. 32, but, well, they've done dress sizes, 10 to 20, bust sizes at 31 to 42 on that one. So it tells me to rib nine, so which I've done, and then to wrap nine. Now, when it says wrap nine, what you have to do is you put nine stitches onto your cable needle. So you do need a cable needle for this. Is that just like a mini needle? Yeah. Oh, it's got a kink. It's got a little it. kink in the middle. Mine has. You can get straight ones as oh, well. Okay. But it holds them. Eight, nine, three. Yeah nine and then what you do is you wrap your yarn quite tightly round these nine needles anti-clockwise oh like so three times all right then put that out the way then you knit them off this thing keeping your pattern so knitting three purling three 
But where's the, the wool that was, or the yarn that was round them? It's still in my hand. No, Does no, it, the three, the three. It's there, it is there on it. Can you see? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. got it, got it, yeah. And then I knit it off. Oh. Oh, is that what, is that and what creates those little what gates creates on yours? the little, yeah. <gasps> Isn't it clever? It's very easy. I thought it was going Ever to be so much easy. more difficult. I'd never, I've never done anything like this before, but it's, a, it's brilliant. And I think it looks really effective. It's a good pattern, this one. It's a good pattern, this one. Um, can I ask, Kat, have we got that little, what did you call that middle one? The cable needle. Catherine, do you call that middle a one cable a cable needle? A cable needle, yes. Do we have cable needles? Oh, get two cable needles, one ninety nine. They're coloured as well. Coloured aluminium cable needle, set of two for one ninety nine. Oh so yeah, red one, the blue one. Now, do we guarantee it's red and blue, or could it be alter alternate colours? Are they the same size then? You've probably got a thinner one and a thicker I one. I have. The red one's fatter than the blue one. Depending on what size yarn and needles you're working oh, with. Oh, okay. Does it say what size they are? Do you just go for a bigger one? Oh, I see. Because, yes, because if your needles that you're using, yeah. you'll need it to be the same size yes. as the needle you're yeah. using. 2.5 and 4. These are most probably like crocheted, where they're all, all the 2.5 ones are that blue and all the 4 ones are that red. Knit Pro, very good company, Elliot's saying, for those who love to knit. That's good, isn't it? One ninety nine. Right, Okay. So yeah, that's what that's what happens all the way along your row. Obviously, mine is just a small sample. So you wrap your nine, you rib three in the middle, and then you wrap another nine, and you carry on like that to the end. So that's the pattern. So it's one, uh, and then in between your wrapping rows, you do fifteen rows just of normal rib. So it looks it's one of those things that probably looks a lot more complicated yeah. than it really is because actually those in between rows. You'd just be sat there in front of the telly, Are clicking away, knitting? whizzing it up quite quickly because you you patterns quite easy. You have to remember though when to stop to do the three. You wraps, do have to keep. You do have to count. Yes, but I find if you're doing something like that, to either put a little tally on your pattern or to have one of the little yeah. row counters, is is the way to go. And the, the, I might just miss this. Do you know the button wrap, or it's not a button wrap, but the, yeah, the button wrap down the front and the collar, the funnel collar. Are they done? separately and sewn on or do you then knit those in later oh sorry you've not um let me have a quick look do you know what i didn't print print off that bit of oh i've pattern. got it then i've got it so um i've only printed off the little bit that i needed no no sorry that's my back. you so, i think you pick that up and put it on afterwards shape top pressing making because certainly up. when you start neck band, neck band using yeah. four millimeter needles cast on 11 stitches you knit five rows then you purl on the wrong side the sixth row these six rows form the pattern, and then you keep going, and then you cast off knit ways on wrong side, neatly sew neck band in place by top sewing. Okay. There we go. And the pocket tops both alike, are like you said there. Yes. If anyone wants to show, if he just wants to show the overhead one, we're all doing it today, aren't we? Uh, What's that? <laughs> telling Elliot what to do. Um, <laughs> you can see the little wraps there. He's used to it. <laughs> Simple but effective, really says Dawn. Really simple but effective. Oh, Elliot, yeah. 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 I know, yeah, Kat's saying it takes him just straightforward plain cardigan. Something really designer, isn't it? It is. And a grey cardi is just one of those things you kind of have to have because it goes with everything. Yep. Oh, and Kat says it's nice because it covers your BTM as well. I don't think Margaret Chapman wants this back. I'm sure she'd be happy to leave it. No, with no, me, I don't think they get them back. <laughs> we, just, we, we just mention their names and we keep them. <laughs> um, and how long is it on you then? How long is it on me? It comes down to mid thigh. And yes, you're so five foot three. Yeah, I'm lovely warm bottom. I, yeah. Yes, I really like this one. <laughs> okay, so, oh. No, the blue one's only five, four left now. Four left of the blue one. So I'll do the blue one. Oh, both graphics are in. So the blue one is the main graphic on this side here. And how you get nine balls. I've only got one here. Now that's the one, 100% acrylic. There's only four of those left, right? Oh, three now, three now. Then this one here, which is the little graphic on that side. This one is the acrylic and wool mix at 29.99. And we're all right at the moment on that one. Right, OK, OK. Very popular pattern. I'm not surprised, because I, I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated than that. Right, OK, let's move on to this now, which is Kat's favourite. We've got, we've got this in two colours. 
Oh, Kat's got to top like this on set. It's not knitted. It, well, it's a knitted jersey. Uh, and then the green one's over by Catherine. So I'll do the pink one first. So this one is called... Flared short sleeve top. Now, you get this. <laughs> 400 grams. When Kat got it out of the bag just a minute ago, it was so funny watching it. 400 grams. Now, this is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, in accordance with BS9841990. Uh, you can wash it up to 40 degrees. You need size 5 knitting needles. Now, this one goes from a 32 bust to a 50 bust. I know. So, now, I know... I know what you're going to say. Oh, I couldn't wear anything that short. Catherine's got an answer to that in a second. So what, what did I say this was? 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So Aaron, I'm presuming, is the thickness of the wool, is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then I've also got in this lovely, now what colour have we called this one? Duck egg blue. Oh, that must be the one she's wearing on the, on the thing there. Right, let me tell you who made the pink one, sorry. The pink one. Carol Walter. Carol Walter made the pink one. Carol, and then who made the green one? Uh, this one's by Caroline Offord. Oh, you've all been busy, haven't you? Uh, Carol, Kat says she's nicking the pink one, just so you know. She loves it, she loves it. We'll try it on her later to see where, because the cutoff might be in the wrong place for her. Right, okay, so what are you going to show on this one? Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do the little mesh pattern, which comes up. Here. Right. Again, it's nice and straightforward. Uh -huh. When I started this, I thought, oh, Aaron, for a top like this, it's going to be a bit thick. But actually, it isn't because you're doing really quite a delicate lacy pattern. Yeah. Uh, and it's a nice, simple, um, well, it's a, four, it's a four row pattern. But since two of those rows are pearls, it's very easy. So okay. you knit one, yarn over, and knit two together. And you do that all the way along. Oh, can you move across to your right? A I bit, can. Please, right? Thank you. They're, their little cross is not in the right place, you know. No, I've noticed that. It's because the one on this table isn't either. <laughs> so yarn over and knit two together all the way along. And then your pearl your row, when you go back across, is what creates the little oh. holes. Now, will one, this one, for, you, you won't know because you haven't knitted the whole thing, but will the one 400 gram ball will be enough to do the design? If you want to make it look longer, I presume you'd need a bit more yarn, would you? Yes, I don't, I don't know if there was any left over. Your no. pattern actually says, uh, and this is what I thought was good actually, as you're working through, that once you've done sort of 10 inches worth, it says here, at this point, if you want a longer garment, you can lengthen it, put in a place marker and carry on with your pattern. Oh. But how much more yarn you'd need to make it a lot longer, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so, and but it, doesn't you tell you on, do it doesn't tell you on the, on the pattern how much yarn you need, does it? Oh yes. Well, it on. is one yeah. giant ball. Well, no, but one 400 gram ball will do up to the 50 we'll inch. Will do all the chest. sizes. So if you're making the 32, you'll have loads left over well, that's to make true. it longer, wouldn't that's you? That's true. And even if you're making a larger size, that you'd probably only want another 100, 200 grams, yeah. maybe. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I don't know. I've only got um, shades, uh, shades on them. Got names on them again. We called them duck egg blue and blush. Did we call it? Yeah, blush. Now, you see, I didn't think you'd wear anything underneath it. I thought the whole idea was that it was a vivacious top, but the lady on the thing's got a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it. I think it's more tank toppy. The what? M more, a bit more tank toppy. Yeah, la like a it? layered look rather than yeah, just the else, top else There might start to be a bit of underbust going on, yeah. and I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Cat won't have that problem, it's <laughs> fine. Um, it's lovely and soft, though. If you do, are going to wear it with just a vest underneath it or something. It's beautiful, beautiful softness. Again, nice for spring, I think, when yeah. you want a little bit of warmth, oh, but yes. nothing too thick. Well, like yesterday, because it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Then I went out to my garden to, because um, Danny the gardener did say to put things out, and I thought, oh, it's a little bit of a nip, but I didn't want to put a jacket or fleecy on because it was still beautiful sunshine, but there was just that little um, spring-like nip in the air, yeah. So all the way across with your yarn over knit two together, and then we're going to go back along just, so it's kind of creating just a with lace, a pearl. So it? it makes a really lovely lacy effect that's sort of, it's got a, like a little diagonal pattern. It goes across. 
Oh, yeah. Can you see it's going a, sort of making this, these little You see, bows. I'm thinking now to, to knit that but not for a jumper. I'm thinking of something like on my dressing table. I'm not, I've got a dressing table, but you know what I mean? Like something, would you use it as an, a doily? No, <laughs> don't people use doilies anymore? <laughs> I personally wouldn't. No, but you're a young thing, aren't you? So I'm old and antimacassar. You can make a lovely antimacassar. <laughs> so that your hair trip. oil doesn't come yeah. off on the back of your and chair. And also the ones on their arms as well. I had a great uncle who always he always had antimacassars because his hair oil came off oh. on the back of the chair. A great uncle. Oh, thanks. But, yes. And I old. We used to see me. when I was little. Yeah. My uh, my. Um, Nan and Grandad had ones on the back of the chairs for my granddad's um, brill cream, whatever he had in his hair, but they also had them on the arms of the chair. Yes. But they had ashtrays built into the ones <laughs> on the arm. <laughs> we also used to have, an, it was weird, isn't it, how times changed. We had an ashtray that was tall, like a chrome coloured, and you put your cigarette out on it, and then you pressed the button, and it opened out, and the, the dog end or the butt went into there, and then it closed up again. Oh, very fancy. I know. I know. They were posh. very common in those yeah. days. No, they weren't <laughs> posh. They weren't posh. Right. Duck eggs the most popular. That's strange. I thought the blush. Oh, it's gone. I thought the blush would have been over there. Oh, now. I do. I like the duck egg. That's a little. Um, behind you, the duck egg. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Now apparently Rebecca Reed's having both of these after the show. Is she? Yeah. Yeah. No, one isn't for you, Cat. It could be a housewarming oh. present. Has she given you a housewarming present yet? Yeah, she could do one of these, Rebecca Reed. She'll be watching. She'll message you. How that? How brilliant is that? Now the rest of the, the rest of it is just normal. The rest of it is normal, normal stocking stitch. Yeah, which is knit a row, purl a row. And then what's the what's the neckline? Is it that's back a, to the same? Or oh, you haven't got that's it. That's a good question. Didn't print that. No, no, that's fine. Because it's not it's not the same, is it? It's not the what have they called that stitch there that you've been doing there? That crossy bit at the bottom. This they've called it. They've just called it mesh pattern. Okay. Ah, uh, it's going to be, um, it's called a pearl twist there on the neckline. Oh, you've got that, have um, you? So you pearl the second stitch without slipping it off and then you pearl the first stitch and slip both stitches off together. So it makes a little twist in your... Oh, I don't know where you're things. reading that. I'm yeah. reading it in the abbreviations because it's oh, a special Oh, okay, one. okay, because you know what you're talking about. Anyway, so it comes in two colourways. The one you're seeing there is the duck egg. And then the side graphic is the blush one which is there <laughs> she's moved she's there now behind me there <gasps> the witch your your gray yeah okay the gray one there's only seven of the gray one left and the blue is completely sold out been the most popular so far and there's only seven of the gray and that's a 25 to one on friday on friday right okay so now i need to move on to this I mean, this only comes in one colourway. It's called the Variegated Brodre Anglais. God, it's like working with Anna all over again. Brodre Border, not Brodre Anglais. Variegated Brodre Border, right? So this is it, but can you see here? Can you see this here? Oh. <laughs> all the mannequins are misbehaving today, I can't tell you. So... What you do is you get seven balls of, here we go, smooth touch. Oh, now this is the cotton look, double knit, this one. It's 100% acrylic, but it's that one that feels like it's cotton. And it's variegated, and it goes from the blues to the lilacs to the lavenders to the sky. It's beautiful. It feels gorgeous. So you get how many? What, seven, say? Seven of those. This is the pattern. You see now, isn't that, I think this is lovely. Okay. Uh, so, who, oh, who made this one? Maggie Priestley. She's been busy. Wasn't yours one, wasn't one of the early ones, Maggie Priestley, as well? Or maybe not. Maybe that was when I was just practising earlier. Uh, this goes from a 30 bust to a 40 bust. No, hang on. No. Oh, yeah. Why have I got all knitted and crochet and knitted? Because there's two different things you can do from this. So you're basically getting two patterns in one then? Yes. Okay, so this, how much is it, sorry? Twenty one ninety nine. What are you going to show me on so this? So I was going to show you, the there's a, a knitted border, which is as on your little example. On oh, your this is beautiful knitted. Yeah. That's yeah. knitted, and I've started doing that, and I can 
show a little bit of that. Right. But you can also choose to do it with a crocheted border, which I've started to do there. So on the pattern, is she knitted or crocheted? She's knitted. She's knitted. Yeah. But so, um, so if you choose to do the knitted one, you start off with some stocking stitch and you, then you make these little eyelets very sim in a very similar way to the pattern that I just do demoed. You just, do you just slip it to the, from one needle to the next? Um, how do you make a hole? How do you make a yarn? You put your yarn forward. Yeah. You slip a stitch off. I think. You knit a stitch. See, I knew that. And then you pass the, pass the slip stitch over. I knew that. <laughs> See? Because when they kept saying you slip it, I thought they meant they just dropped it off the needle. No, no, you, you just, just put it, it onto the needle. next one. So yarn, what did you say, yarn? So yarn forward, Yeah. slip one, Yeah. knit one, Yeah. pass the slip stitched over. A what? Pass the, put, the, put the slip stitch back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's let, a me, bit right, let me show you. Oh, yeah, so, I've got oh, to, sorry, that's so, what you're going to do. Because it's a 20 yeah. row pattern yeah. and I've got up to, I've got, I've done 18 of the rows so okay. that I could show you the last one Perfect. because all the rows are basically the same. All you've got to do is make sure you count the, the right numbers in between so that oh, the yes. holes come in the right places. Yeah, you've got random yes. holes. Absolutely. And listen, I wonder if that pattern's got a, got a, a name because it looks like those lovely candlesticks, doesn't it? That's it's, what I was thinking. It's very pretty. So this is for the sleeve. So this is the width of your sleeve. Oh, okay. Uh, so we start off our 19th row. We go knit two together and the yarn forward three times. Right. So that's very similar to what I did on the last one. One. Okay. Then we knit one, yarn forward. This is the bit that you know. Slip yeah. one. Yeah. Knit one. And then that one that got slipped, pass slip stitch over like you that. You take it back. Pack over the top. And then do you knit it? No, it's that has been dropped off. But because you've, you haven't just dropped it anywhere, because you've done it over the top of the other one, you won't, you'll get a hole, but you'll get a hole where you want a hole. And it's a controlled hole. It's Exactly, yes. it's a controlled hole. We're going to do that again. Knit one, yarn forward, slip one, knit one. Okay, and then that slipped one, over it goes, past the slip stitch over. Yarn forward. Now we're going to knit two together, yarn forward twice. So this pattern part, you have got to concentrate a little bit so you know where you're at. And then we're going to repeat that whole little bit again to, right. to the end. So we're going to knit one, yarn forward, slip one, Knit one, pass the slip stitch over, and again, no, nope, hang on, where have I got to? Yeah, no, nope. yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over, yarn forward, knit two together. Yarn you work forward. very, you knitters, you work very close to the end of your needle, don't you? I'd be frightened they'd all fall off. Well, in that way, they'll slide off nicely. Yeah. Otherwise, if they were down here, take ages, wouldn't it? You'd have yeah. to like oh, yeah, no, shovel no, no. it back up. Very, at <laughs> as, a, as a viewer, it's looking very close. Who doesn't knit? It's looking very close to the end, and I'd be frightened they'd all be falling off. Do you think? Obviously, I not. think you're all right. I think I think yeah. I'll be okay. All right, that's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Where have I got to? I don't know where I've got to. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why you don't want me or the television on in the room at the same time. Uh, my holes come out in the wrong place. Oh no, in the after all that, did you slip at the wrong place? No, then? no, I think I'm all right. All right. We'll see. I'll know when I get to the end if it's worked or not, won't I? So you need three and three quarter. Now, what does this mean? It says you need one pair of three and three quarter millimeter needles. Then in brackets, it's gone UK nine, USA five. Ah, because in the olden days, we didn't do um, needles in millimeters. Oh, of they course, had they a didn't, number. Didn't have millimeters, did they we? had a number. So um, oh, I remember, a four oh, mil needle was an eight. Nan used to have a little yes. knob on the end that had a number on it. Yes, so a four mil one was an eight. In fact, on here it says eight as well as four mil on it, um, and so um, so obviously three oh, and three yes. quarter mil is equivalent to an old nine. So people who've been um, knitting, knitting for, for years and years, or you go to the charity shop and you find them, they're often the old style ones. Yes. 
and then the USA obviously have a completely different different. Well, they have with, get, with uh, crochet, don't they? <laughs> yes, they do. Terms. Right? Just can I ask then? What's if you knit with a smaller needle? Does the garment come up smaller? Um, it can do. It depends. Oh on, no, because I was going to say, why does this need to be a four mm Why does it have to be a four millimeter? Does it to determine well, you, the size of the stitch? It does. So you've got well, you've got different. So you do some of it in three and three quarter, and then some of it you swap and do in four. Mil. Okay. So if I was at home and I bought this kit and I hadn't got any, and only had size six needles, and I knitted it, wouldn't it, come out right. It just no. wouldn't happen. No. This is why you you've got your tension, your little information uh, about tension. Okay. So. Um, tells you your number of stitches in rows over a certain distance on the size four mil needles. Right. And that will come out, if you if you do your tension square, comes out to a certain size, you know if you're doing it the oh, right size. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So yes. if you've got needles at the end snapped off or it hasn't got a size on it, you could try it. If it's not the right size, you know that. Right, okay, you can it. get very usefully little gauges with holes in. And so if you don't know what size your knitting needles are, you can Put them in the holes until you find the right size. No, not like spaghetti. Where? How often? Yeah, it is. It is like a bit spaghetti. like the spaghetti ones. What you measure spaghetti? Oh, for the portions, <laughs> not for each. I thought you meant for each <laughs> no, spaghetti. No, strap. not the thickness of <laughs> spaghetti strap. Yeah, I thought, I've got a bit of a life. You know what I mean? Uh, right. Talk. Let's talk quickly. Say that again. We've got four millimetre needles on pre-order underneath us. What we'll do at the end of the show is Kat will put it all through so that it's all on show deals. So can I very quickly yes, show please, you the, please, the crochet please. border? Yeah. So it's actually a different pattern, oh, but yeah. also very pretty. So this is crocheted um, with a 3.5 mil crochet hook. And <coughs> Excuse me. Then you, it's, a, it's only a six row pattern. This is a 20 row pattern. This is just a six row pattern. I have to say, having done both, crochets, the crochet one's faster. But is that because you're a quicker crocheter than you are a knitter? Uh, no, I just think crochet is uh, quicker in general. Okay, actually. and what's a stitch holder? Because you need stitch holders if you crochet. Stitch holders. Um, so it's there. No, it says you need stitch holders generally. They're they're oh. like the big safety pins. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, for okay. Holding okay. when you get up to the neckline. Oh, something. sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so so now, you so crochet your band, right. and then when you finished crocheting your band, you then. Just like I did earlier on picking up your neckline, you then pick up to knit the rest of the garment. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you would just go along with your yarn, pick stitches up, and then so then to knit up the rest of your sleeve. It's over here, yeah. That would be knitted, and you just start oh, your stuff yes, and stitch. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah. Because you got like a scallopy bit at the bottom, which I learned how to do last week on the show or the week before. Um, I thought, you see, what you'd do is you'd knit the jumper, but make it shorter with shorter sleeves. Then you'd crochet that, and then you'd crochet the two together. But you don't do that. No, you crochet that first, and, and then, then join you pick your up knitting. your knit, and off you go. So yes. it's all in one. It's yes. not, it's not, yeah. So on this pattern, you've got a choice of borders. And so they're different patterns. Now, isn't it funny? There's no yeah. picture of the other border. No, which is a shame, but it is pretty. But there you go. You can see. Has it got, do you know if it's got a name? Has that got a name? It looks like sunflower. No, it hasn't, hasn't particularly said. No. What's the matter, Elliot? Oh, here we go. What's that? It's saying, uh, does the tension what? Does t tension part t pay a, play a part of the crochet as well? Yes. Have they given us a in the crochet have version? Have they given us a tension? They have given us a tension for the crochet and that as well. Just do it to the right size, Elliot, and then we'll be all right. Well, no, because it tells you what time size your tension square has to be here in the instructions. Do you do a tension? He's asking, do you do a tension square for your for your crochet as well? It actually doesn't give you one. Oh, should I'm you? I'm just looking. It doesn't give you one here, but I think because it's just the border, I think it would be fine. Oh, now the sleeve edgings are done with a crochet hook as yes, well. Yes, they're and like the a little edging. pico edging. Yeah, that's where I learnt it. That's what didn't we do? Did we do that with last week or the week before? Anyway, unless we have to move on now, getting too involved. <laughs> oh, got, got a message quickly. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, hang from Carol. We brought, brought in the blush flared short sleeve because, hi John, I knitted the pink one. Oh, here we go. The 400 gram ball knitted up to the third size. Hope that helps. Oh, interesting. Well, it's not that one, is it? That one. That one there. So the big 400 gram ball of wool. See, it says in the instructions that the big ball of wool should take it up to the size 50. 
But what Carol's saying is it just the third size. Oh, well, after, I'll look in, we'll look into that one. I'll get Rebecca Reed. She'll be watching. I'll get Rebecca Reed to look into that one. But thank you. Thank you, Carol. Beautiful. C Carol, can, can um, be, um, not Bex, can, um, Cat keep it? No. She says no. She says no. Right. Okay. Now, now, this, I've had this on all day. I can't do a twirl because there's not enough room. But it's not just a waistcoat, look. Can I stand in there? <laughs> oh, hang on, my bottle's in the way, sorry. <laughs> look! <laughs> we love it, we love it, we love it. Catherine said earlier, oh, John, you look like you're in the 70s. I was like, yeah, yeah, I did live through the 70s. Thank you. <laughs> this has been flying out on pre-order. Oh, <laughs> it's getting a bit crowded around here, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, uh, no, we're allowed to socially distance. We're in the same bubble. <laughs> right, one, two, three. I love this yarn as well. One, two, three, five, six, <coughs> seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Nine. Oh, sorry, one, two, four, three. Nine balls. Now, oh, is this crocheted? I thought this was knitted. Crocheted, this one. Not sure about her necklace. I had a jumper like that in the 70s, though. We used to wear those skinny rib jumpers all the time in the 70s. So this is your smooth touch, cotton look, double knit, 100% acrylic. What colour do we call it? Cream variegated. Yeah. It's got lovely colours. It's got gold now. Now, yeah, it's got sand in there. There's a bit of ecru in there. Now, what size does this go to? Bust 32 to 44. Please note. Oh, okay, that's got nothing to do with it. She says about the colour. Well, obviously, it's different. Well, anyway, you need a 3.5 millimetre crochet hook and two buttons. And yes, the tension. It's important to check your tension before commencing the garment. Six pattern repeats in main pattern. Oh, I won't read all that out. Anyway. £28.99. Nine balls of yarn. Nine balls of yarn there. Now, uh, oh, we've got five minutes. Yeah, what, um, what are we going to show? This uh, I was just going to show the little mesh pattern, which is the bottom part oh, this bit of here. your waistcoat. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I really like this pattern and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I might make this one. And then, then I read it and <laughs> very interesting. You, you don't make it in separate pieces. You go all the way around for the whole bottom bit. So it's, you, you're working a big, long bit at once. Yeah. So when I read Make 184 Chain, I thought, do you know what? I'll never get around to doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how, who made it? Oh, this one's from Mariner. This hasn't got a name on this. It's just, oh, that's the one that she's wearing. Who wore it best? Oh, you definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I look a lot fatter than her, though. That's what worries me. Right, go on then. Show us um, what we're doing. Uh, she's also a very tall model, because I tried that on. Oh, I, yes. And it was it was on the ground. The floor, I would not yeah. make it quite as long. It's just a hard However, calf, isn't it? so it's an but it's a nice, um, really nice two row pattern working up. So even if you've got your long chain, it will actually start working quite quite quickly. So we've done three chain at the start of the row, which yeah. is to bring your hook up high enough. And then in every chain space, which you can see going along, we are doing five chain five treble. UK trebles. UK trebles. Definitely. So as not to confuse anyone. Yeah. So if you know a chain and you know a treble, you're pretty much okay for this pattern. Sounds like this is a tablecloth. <laughs> I think that would be a Doilies and tablecloths. Tablecloth. Pardon? Doilies and ta yeah. tablecloths. I'm an old fashioned girl. You're going to be very retro. Um, it would look lovely on, your, on, a, on a table in the garden. You it could would. do that though, couldn't you? You could you just could. keep crocheting it. You don't want to do this top bit. What are you, you saying, Elliot? No, no, not with the armholes. You just do the bottom bit, just the, just the skirt bit. Because it's how many stitches long? 180 something? 100 and, well, yes, the smallest size is 184 to start Okay, so with. for my table in my garden. Where does it say? <laughs> 
This could be your first crocheting project. 274 then. is the largest size. I think that one must be quite a big size. Oh, one, also, also, one, on yeah, me. that's the 44 bust. Um, but I wouldn't be doing the, the waistcoaty bit. I could have more yarn to make more of a tablecloth. Uh, you need the nine balls to do the largest size. So if you're doing one of the smaller size, you will have some yarn left over. Just so you know for your stash. Oh, God, that's flown out. Less than 15, fewer than 15 of these now. So this is really nice, easy row. Just trebles all the way along in groups of five. And the thing with a treble is you can really easily see where you've done them to be yes. able to count if you've done enough. So That colour, obviously, that Catherine's using, obviously, isn't one of our colours today. Just using her old, not old, but leftovers. Leftovers, stash. absolutely. What's what? the matter, Kat, you say? Yeah, we're just doing it with the cream. Just doing when it. you get to the end of the row, you're going to do a treble in this little turning chain that you did on the previous row, yeah. just to keep your edge nice and straight. Lovely. Then you turn round and, and go you're going back. to do your three chain to pit, go up again. Then, So there's my little nice trebles. Yeah. And then our second row of the pattern is just to make the next little um, lot of chains. So we're going to miss a treble. We're going to do one treble in the first one of your block of five. Do three chain. Then you do a treble in the last one of the block of five. Right. And you do that all the it's way It's easier along. to make holes in um, crochet than it is in knitting, isn't it? Not make bad holes, I mean good holes. Yes. Controlled holes. Yes, it is, yes. So all the way along, a treble in the first one of your block of five, three chain. Oh, it's ever so easy. It's ever so easy. You see, now I wouldn't want a tablecloth in a solid colour. No. I don't want that on my table. In no, the but that variegated colour is lovely. Yeah, but I think that this made up in a solid colour like that would work as well. If you've got, you want nine balls of yarn, double knit, crochet double knit. It, that, so is crochet double knit different to knitting double knit? Was no. it the same yarn? Same. Just that this is saying it's it's a crochet pattern. Absolutely. Brilliant. Right, now I need to do a roundup. Look at the time, Catherine. That's flown by that hour, isn't it? It has. Right, so let's do this then. Let's start with this one, because that's what we're finishing off with. 28 99 you get nine balls of the yarn plus the pattern. Oh, hang on, here we go. There you go. Don't ignore those. £28.99, you get nine of those. They're calling them cream plus your pattern, 28 99 the grey cardi is now sold out, so the blue cardi and the grey cardi completely gone. I haven't got any more of that. Uh, duck egg in our Aaron. There you go. So this is 400 grams plus your pattern, 15.99. That's actually that one. Look, that's that one there. Second most popular item of the hour. Then we've got it in the rose. Oh no, hang on, rose, blush, sorry, blush. I'd say it was more rose than blush. You get that and you get the pattern. I don't know where the other pattern's gone, I must have lost it. There you go. 15.99, sorry, I'm looking completely the wrong place. Right, then let's go to this one, which is the one next to me here, which is the one you can either knit or crochet the cuffs and the bottom of the jumper. Was it, how many balls did you get in this one? The bro day, it was either nine or seven. Seven, 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 seven. That makes this look with the, but you can, if you want to, you can crochet this bit and that bit if you don't want to knit it. And the crocheting is a completely different pattern. It looks like a row of sunflowers. Then way back at the beginning where we started with these um, lovely, super chunky, Savannah and Tundra, this is Tundra here. This is the behind me, yeah, behind me, this one here. That's a super chunky knit, cropped cardigan, 29.99. And very quickly, uh, this one here, which is Savannah, super chunky, 29.99. Uh, how many of those, was it seven or nine of those you get? I can just double check, sorry, let me, I can see in here. Nine, nine, you get nine of those, nine. nine. 32 to 42 inch bust, that one. 
Thank you, Catherine, for all your hard work today. I know it's That's been a okay. long day, but she's done brilliant. So, Sang Street and this, if you weren't watching so too early, Catherine's done three hours in total today. And if you, you also, there's so much going on backstage, you wouldn't believe. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all, but just lots, lots to contend with. Right, okay, so, Jan runs back tomorrow, and we don't know who it is. Who's, oh, is it Cara Ackerman? Oh, so Cara's doing the same as you tomorrow. Cara's doing three hours, two hours on Sewing Street, one hour on... Um, Let's do the menu for tomorrow again, just to be on the safe side. So Sewing Street, Karen from Seams is here first thing in the morning, just for half an hour. And then we're going to Riley Blake Delightful Fabrics. Nine o'clock, we've got the tired, I nearly said tired then, tired cushion uh, <laughs> pillow with Cara. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got Fat Quarter Fun. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Borrow and Sashiko Sewing with Cara Ackerman. Then we go to Yarn Lane and we're going to learn loom weaving scarves and bags. I wonder if we have to, do we have to buy a loom? Have we got looms? Oh, I've not had a show with looms in. Oh, okay, well, we're going now. Um, thank you for your company all day today. Uh, you've got me again tomorrow, I'm ever so sorry, and Sunday. Uh, but I will see you on Sewing Street tomorrow morning at eight o'clock and on Yarn Lane tomorrow at 12. Bye. <laughs>